Radio. Welcome to Rage. I'm Yvonne. Well, guess who I am? Look behind me. No, I'm not in SAF. No, I'm not in the Ministry of Defence. I'm actually in Singapore Polytechnic. That's right. This plane, this decommissioned fighter plane, was given by the SAF, Singapore Armed Forces, to Singapore Polytechnic. This is a super Skyhawk. Well, Singapore Poly was one of the first polytechnics to receive this plane. Why are we talking about this? Why am I standing in front of this? Because today, we're going to talk about the School of Engineering. That's right, uh, whether it's manufacturing and uh, mechanical engineering or uh, aeronautical engineering, electrical engineering, all of these, we're going to talk about these today. So stay around, look around, more exciting stuff for you, up for grabs on RAGE. In Singapore Poly, actually, we have five schools which are offering engineering courses and in total they are offering 16 engineering courses overall uh, in these five schools and we feel um, and the general uh, uh, thinking is that when it comes to engineering Singapore Poly is number one and it can be easily seen from uh, the JE numbers perhaps so whenever we talk about engineering I think Singapore Polytechnic name, name comes first actually because this is one of the most established um, uh, polytechnic or rather I would say even the engineering school is one of the most established one. Studying here in the engineering course in Singapore Polytechnic is not just only in classrooms but it's going to take place in labs as well where you can get hands-on experience. Come, let's take a look inside this aeronautical engineering lab or what they call aero lab and see what the students are up to in there. Guess where we are right now? It's kind of self-explanatory, isn't it? It's the aero lab, the aeronautical engineering lab. And I have with me Mr. Liu. Yeah, hello. He's going Hi. to tell us all about every exciting thing about this course. Come, let's take a short walk uh, around the workshop as all right. we chat. Come okay, on. no problem. Yeah. Okay, this is um. What was this plane? First okay, of this all? is basically the Cessna 310. It's mm -hmm. actually a twin engine, six yeah. cylinder, uh, fuel injected engine. Actually, it's a private aircraft. Can carry four. Normally, it can be configured to be carrying four passengers. We are actually using it as a training aid for the students. Okay, where we train the aeronautical engineering students. Okay, to be more specific, what are the, what do we do? Okay, yeah. a lot of people say, what is aeronautical? Wow, one very big title as you can see over there. Yeah. What is it? Okay, it's basically in layman per mm -hmm. point of view, it's a engineering related, specialized, especially on aircraft, on aircraft itself. It's basically the design, maintenance, repair of an airplane. Okay, of course, in our scope in Singapore Poly, we teach the students how to actually, the basic concept on aerodynamics, structures, propulsion, things like that. Okay, everybody's all year three here, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, first of all, how is, how is it going? It's tough. Tell me what's so tough about it. A lot of time is spent on the projects and all the assignments and everything. The, the good thing is that everything is very structured. So although it's tough, you are able to get a very holistic education throughout the whole process. So at the end of it all, you really learn a lot more than you actually expect yourself to learn. Mm, okay, so now that you are year three, what have you learned that, you know, what are some of the things that you've learned that you didn't expect yourself or you may even imagine yourself learning? I mean, who knows, when f first time when you step into the course, you'll never know the details of what aeronautical engineering is about. You will have never comprehend that there's, there's so much that can go into just one topic. So um, it's really the details. I'm not going to specify what because the details are, but there are a lot of details. Oh, there, yeah. yeah. So um, I guess because the details really matter a lot, and uh, if you don't have the details, you basically can't do anything. So um, the um, education system here really tells you, it really brings you that much further, and uh, it really prepares you for the uh, the aviation industry. Yeah. So actually, we are working on a helicopter, uh, which is a new design now. Uh, the usual conventional helicopter will be a main rotor and a tail blade. Uh, now our, our helicopter design will not have a tail blade. However, it will have uh, two main rotors uh, spinning in opposite directions. Um, this is actually our final year project. It's actually a coaxial um, helicopter that we designed ourselves. So uh, everything is unique, especially the head system that you see here, the engine layout and uh, drivetrain. 
So what I'm doing here is that we're going to fi- try to fire it for the very first time. It may or may not start. It won't start, lah, by the way. <laughs> but it may or may not start. And uh, we'll actually see how, it, how the thing goes. What are you graded for in this submission? Uh, basically, we, we, we must get this working. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, number one. Get this it fine. Must start. Yeah, it must start. Uh, basically, that's it. Uh, but there are def- definitely a lot of problems along the way. This being one of them. Well, I mean, yeah. it's part and parcel. Okay, yeah. we are just going to try and start it now. Yeah. yeah. And let's, let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Basically, it's the same thing as a car. When you crank, crank your key, mm. cr- crank the engine. Mm. That's the... <laughs> we just didn't charge the battery as full as we as we could, so uh, we'll try again. If it doesn't start, we we'll always wait for another day, like, just to make sure that everything's correct. But now you're just at testing stage, la. Yeah, so just to make sure it fires. This is but this is the internal part of it. You're going to build the shell and all that as well. The shell is basically not very important because what you want people to see is the real mechanics of the of the whole project. So. Um, as what you can see here, you can basically see everything that, that is needed for it to work. So that's the whole um, the whole backbone of the projects right here. So why cover why cover the main the, the masterpiece? Another battery. Yeah. All the batteries died. Yes. What about car battery? Ah, can a double battery, a more double battery. So have things been going smoothly for this project? So far? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he said. No. Um. Because, as I said, this is a very new project. There's nobody in the market that's doing it uh, on a similar scale with a similar design. So, um, being very... Uh, in some sense, design is very crude as it is because it is only in its primary stages. And it's designed by uh, students. So, you can't expect much from students anyway. No, but you actually can expect a lot from students. Yes, I believe you can expect a lot because it's tertiary level already. Uh, this is your car battery. Uh. This my old car battery. This is Mr. Liu's old car battery. The things teachers do for students nowadays. Just make sure it doesn't kill the starter. Ah, uh, you work, oh my god. We're gonna try for a second time. Ah, uh, you work. He's gonna try for a third time. You won't start. But probably you will start another day. Hopefully, if not, we all fail. <laughs> yeah, by the end of this year, you must start, is it? Uh, by the end of tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow is the submission date, right? No, no, it's not. But we set ourselves deadlines that we have to follow. If not, we will lag behind. Well, it's it's far from where we started. We started off with nothing except for <laughs> ideas. Any, any point after that is far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we have... Um, it's, it's all assembled, okay? But now it's in the testing process to see if it works or not. Yeah, so it's still in the process of making it work. Yvonne, do you feel that it's tough to be able to, you know, uh, be so hands-on with technical stuff? I mean, it's a plane. A plane is a huge thing. You feel daunted at times? Not really. Personally, I feel that most of the girls, you feel, especially when we are being looked down on, in a sense, we are even harder harder for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So to us, we just... We just work very hard for it. How do you feel that, you know, you're feeling that you have to work twice as hard? Like you're saying, being looked down upon and all that. What, what makes you feel like that? Is it because, you know, the guys catch it faster than you do? Or or, or, or what, you know, what, what makes you feel that way? It's not about catching it faster. It's just like certain things, just like that you need to use strength. Yeah, physical. Yeah, and brute physical. Force. Definitely okay. we are not in the advantage. Singapore Poly, we were the first poly to start the course of aeronautical engineering. We are the first. Okay, of course, I have to say we are the best. Of course, <laughs> yes, no, have to, I have to say that we are the best. Street. Okay, why do you say you are the best? Because Qualify first things that. first, we got the dress facility. We have a lot of aircraft. Actually, to be more specific, in Singapore mm-hmm. Poly, we have three aircraft. Okay, this? One is the Cessna 310. Yeah. Okay, we have one A4 Skyhawk donated by our Republic of Singapore Air Force, RSAF. Decommissioned right. one? Decommissioned one, fully operational, but of course not airworthy, but uh, we were, the parts are uh, functioning. We actually teach the students the aircraft systems. And of course, our last aircraft is in between our buildings in T8 and T9, which belongs to our school of Triple E, the Cessna 172. In Singapore Poly, in School of Mechanical, yes, it is the most popular course. And uh, many people, uh, many students 
Okay, usually from the secondary schools, after they finish, uh, they all die. Are always dying to come into this call. But however, we only we do take in the cream of the crops. Okay, those who are actually qualified to go to the junior colleges. Some of them because of their interest, passion. More important is passion. Mm -hmm. That they come to this course. So what made you want to join aerospace? Uh, sorry, aeronautical engineering in the first place. I mean, we know that that there's <coughs> another engineering course. There are so many other polytechnics over here. Okay, why SP? Why aeronautical engineering? With such good lecturers like him, why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, He's but not here to hear you, sorry. No, he knows. He said with such good lecturers like you, why not, you know? Come over here, <laughs> la, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, la, but um, I've want always wanted to be in this course since I was sec 2. So mm, that's a long time to be one. Yeah, to so course. managed to scrape through my O-levels, managed to arrive here. And um, why? Because like what they said, I mean, there's no other better course. Um, I know all the other polys are going to... But then, it, it, it's true. Uh, but that's engineering. your reason why you want to be here, so that's okay. Yeah, that's my reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, engineering in Singapore Poly, it's the renowned one. Like, and especially aeronautical engineering. So, um, why anywhere else? Because it's convenient. It's like right in front of the Dover MRT. Mm -hmm. And it's the first Singapore Polytechnic. And it, I don't know, it's, it's the hype. You know, you're, you're all your most of your friends want to go SP. Is that right? And yeah, mm. and you get pulled along with it, and so you do your own research whether the school is good or not. The f the first time, uh, we, I thought of joining aeronautical engineering. SP was the only one that offered it anyway. So um, and knowing that it had a wonderful background in engineering, uh, it was uh, it's an established uh, institution. So yeah, of course SP aeronautical engineering. Um, because of the a good prospect in the future, like after we graduate, we might have a better job, um, higher pay, something else. I always wanted something special, some something special. Yeah, to me, I want. I'm not interested in business and and other courses. So engineering or sciences. So aeronautical engineering is one very special course that I think goals that takes. You just you just feel accomplished when you just take up. Aeronautical engineering course. This is basically a showcase of all the aircraft, uh, which I basically belongs to. Some belongs to me, but some belongs to the school. The Doraemon belongs to you. Uh, of course, this is uh, one of <laughs> is the comical, one of the comical things we put in. Okay, we have great support to our own national carrier, Singapore Airlines. Are very important. Uh, what are the employment opportunities for students? Oh, very, very, uh, very attractive mm. because, as you can already see, we are getting new aircraft. SIA has uh, Airbus A380. So when there are new aircraft, what it means is that we need more engineers, definitely. We need more engineers, we need more maintenance engineers, design engineers. Then, of course, you recently heard that our Salita Airport is going to be developed to the next aviation hub. There's plenty of jobs awaiting for our students, you know. Of course, uh, it's a dynamic industry, very competitive, very hard labour, but, of course, it, has got, it comes with its great rewards. So. And then, you know, aviation industry, we always talked about economy not doing well, aviation. Oh, yes, everything slows down, but everybody needs to fly. Aircraft is a very complex machine, okay? It's a very big item, and it's like a very big mechanical, electrical. You see, it doesn't just run on mechanical. It has lights, it got instrumentation. But because the, the vast uh, technology is so wide, we have broken it up into two diplomas. So in the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, we actually study or specialize more on the mechanical aspects, structure, engines, aerodynamics. While the sister school, School of Electrical Electronics Engineering, they specialize on the avionics, like instrumentation, radio, GPS. Don't go away because we're going to check out the other engineering courses here in Singapore Polytechnic and find out things you didn't know about.